Today we're talking about sports memorabilia. Guys that collect a whole bunch of stuff. All right, so guys, today we're talking about sports memorabilia. Do you have it? Now, the one thing I did collect, I don't know if it counts, is I used to be the baseball, football, and basketball card collector. Tops card? Extraordinary. Cards? Tops. Uh, Bowden, went, Bowen, Bowen, when they came did back Did you have the 99? albums? Are you kidding? I had multiple albums. I even had them separated by team. So at one point, there was an album for every football team, mm -hmm. every baseball team, every basketball team. Mm -hmm. That Because that's what we had, man. Mm -hmm. and then that's, that's my what you did part. and then you get those cards signed whenever you could so whenever you my save your money game, yeah. you go to the convenience store yep you buy a couple of packs of cards because that's all you can you afford chew that gum and you cross your fingers that you get someone's rookie card every time like barry sanders oh do i have it ken griffey jr mark uh mark mcguire i remember getting both of his those oh, are the same about, year think about how skinny he was in that Oh, I, yeah. I remember imagine, looking through that set. Imagine having Barry Bonds' right. rookie card. I bet his giant melon head was really small. Because it was. The, the crazy part is his mind. He, he was a pirate. He, he was tiny. <laughs> Even King, King Griffey Jr., when he was a rookie, it was a lot that of dude donuts. was so skinny. <laughs> donuts. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That so my guy. grandfather was a collector, like a okay. collector of everything. Yep. My dad was a baseball card collector. So when okay. I remember telling my dad, I want to buy baseball cards, there was a no questions asked, like, Let's go. How much money do you have? You know, if you want to get more cards, these are the chores you need to do. I like it. And then that's, you know, he'd give me money, and then he's like, let's go get cards, complete sets. Um, so what's, the fa what's your favorite thing that you have now as an adult? My dad went and for one year. I got, well, remember the Icky Shuffle in Icky Woods? I do remember the Icky Shuffle. So I remember getting my dad a bunch of signed stuff by Icky Woods because, you know, it's pretty easy to get these days. Okay. And uh, he got me a signed autograph from Forrest Gregg, who was a really mm. old Bengal mm. coach. Mm. He also played for the Packers. I think he even played for the Bengals. He coached for him later. And it was a signed autograph because my dad knew him. Nice. By virtue of his job and being his delivery guy for 20 years. Nice. And my dad, I remember delivering a package to him one day, and he was like, oh, my gosh, you're Forrest Gregg. And apparently Forrest Gregg said, come on in. I like and it. And showed him memorabilia that my dad was dying for and the next thing i know he's like would you sign this for my son and forrest greg before he passed was one of the nicest people you'll ever meet yeah and he's like i'll sign whatever you have nice and he was I like, like that hell of a guy i wish he was still with I like us that. because they set the example for how uh sportsmen should be and sports women uh -huh. so uh, okay. that's my favorite thing it hangs up in my pri my area where i keep all my cool stuff and yeah tens of thousands of baseball and football cards I still have. And I mean, it is a collection. I stopped in about the 2000s because I don't think I just kind of outgrew it. I don't think know? I... I don't know if my mom would have those. I don't think so. Maybe they're in my basement somewhere. They might be in a box in my basement somewhere. You might want to go find those. You might have some cards. Maybe I've there. got an old Bubby Brister card because that's Gosh, probably worth at man, least that's 25 old cents. School. <laughs> I know I've got a lot of rookie cards because we bought complete sets. I know, yes. That's from what, like, yes. I want to say like 85 through 1999. My prized possession as a kid was my Barry Sanders rookie card. Yes, my cousins had. that. He, he just bought tons of Barry Sanders. He is my favorite football player of all time that I got to, wa that I got to cool. see. I didn't yeah. get to watch him. Like I never yeah. went to a Lions game. Did you ever get anything autographed by no, Sanders? No, I've never met him personally. But he, that car, he was my favorite player. Ooh. And this was like back in the day where started, when starter jackets came out. Mm -hmm. oh. It's not like today where you can just <laughs> where you can go to the NFL store and buy stuff. Like yeah. you had to go to the mall where there would be like a, not a foot locker, but yeah. a, you know, something Some along sort of store. And lines. they didn't always carry it. So and you they, would have and to nobody order carried Lions no. stuff. It was Cowboys right. and Raiders and Chiefs. If they did have jerseys, Bears. it was the team that was in your state. Right. And if you were in. But remember, I, I grew yeah. up in Omaha, so we didn't have one. So, no. so the Chiefs, right? Okay. So the Is Chiefs and the Bears. Really? Right? And then and then the Raiders and well, that was a pretty popular the Cowboys. Team. Yeah. Right? And then whichever team was really good, then mm -hmm. there'd, there'd be that merch. So like the Niners would get yeah, merchandise. Yeah, whoever's winning the right? Super Bowl The Broncos would get merch. The Bills would get merch. Yeah. And the, yes. Lions, the Lions were never <laughs> – They were. there was a couple of times they were good. 
but they were never great. No, right? they've had a drought like some and, other teams. You know, yeah. Scott Mitchell was just Scott Mitchell, right? Right, and Herman Moore, right? Man, Barry Sanders, back. Chris Spiel, Chris Spielman, right? He's like Barry Sanders. So when I got my Lions starter jacket, I was in heaven. Nice. Cause that thing. I love starter. Because they were like the first company that was like, listen, we're going to make serious products mm -hmm. for people who love sports. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was just I don't hard have to find that anything. jacket anymore because it wouldn't fit right. any, any longer. But I still I do still have two of them. Cool. Two of them like legit. So one of them is the quarter zip pullover. My brother went to Kansas State, so I have a Kansas State one that we yeah. would wear when we would go to the games in the 90s. Um, and then the other one I have is a, is a button-up, zip-up button-up for Penn State. And yeah. they're in the basement. And they're like those letter jacket style types. And the last, time yeah. I went, the last time I went skiing, I wore one of them. And, the, and, I, and everyone's looking around like, that is so awesome. Because if you know, if you know what they are, or if you're our age and you know what they are, they're, you can't get them anymore. You can still get them. They're just not the same. Do you remember the Zumba pants? I do remember the Zumba pants. Oh, I love Zumba pants. The Zumba pants. pants came out, and then they and then they tied them to the same the same style as hammer pants. And they were in your favorite team's colors. And you showed and they up. Were you gaudy. showed up. You showed up in your zebra <laughs> pants, right? And then and then you did the the oh yeah hammer time like right the typewriter giddy up yeah okay so love the nineties okay so that was my favorite thing as a kid right now. There, I have two things. Okay, what, what do you have now? Okay, so the first one you know about because it's in my office. Uh, so I signed. have the signed Crosby jersey Solid. from the year that he won his first Stanley Cup. Nice. So he signed it yeah. in the spring right, while, right before the playoffs. Nice. And that's a long story how I ended up getting it, um, but I have one. So that's, that's hanging in my office. The other one that's at home in a frame is so my mother grew up in Pittsburgh. Cool. That explains the Pittsburgh connection. Okay. And so my grandfather, right? Um, he, so his dad, so my great grandfather, mm -hmm. right? Um, they, they are all from Pittsburgh. Okay. Right. So he used to, when the Steelers were founded in 33, right? Mm -hmm. He used to go to the games. Used nice. to go, and they were nice. terrible. Like they were really bad. And then, right, um, he had tickets, but th there wasn't like season tickets. Like you just, it was just, easy to yeah. get a ticket, right? right? People just went to the game and bought them. Then. So then, um, my grandfather, when my mom and my aunt were born, when they were little, right, they ended up stop. They they ended up not being able to go to games anymore because the tickets prices were too high. Because the Steelers started to get better, so he wrote a note. It's like this: people used to do this. You used to like write notes, letters, and then fold them up, right. put, put them, them in, in envelopes, envelope. and mail them to people. And you had to actually follow the rules on the outside of this envelope to get it to the right. So place. my grandfather wrote a note to Art Rooney Sr. Wow, the boss. Yep, founder. Right, the boss. Yep, the chief. They called him the chief. Yeah. Right. So he wrote a letter to the chief, talking about how. He's been in Pittsburgh his entire life, right? They've, they've been huge supporters of the Steelers, huge supporters of the Pirates. My grandfather was a huge baseball fan. My, yeah. mo my mom's favorite person of all, uh, sp favorite sports person of all time is Roberto Clemente. Holy smokes, right? really? So, um, so he wrote the chief a note. And? and the chief wrote him a letter back. Wow, back in the day when he probably actually hand read that letter and hand wrote it back. Handwritten. Wow. Signed by the chief. Nice. And it came with four tickets to a game. Holy smokes, really? Mm hmm Wow. And that's, I have the letter. That's pretty cool. From the chief. That's pretty cool. It's awesome. Yeah, that that's memorabilia really awesome. that you want to hold on to. And right, you're talking about good guys in sports. Yeah. He was one of them. Yeah. Handwritten note. Who's my grandfather to, to Art Rooney? Didn't matter. Art Rooney was a heck of a guy. Didn't matter because my grandfather was Pittsburgh through and through, yeah. right? And my grandfather took the time to write him a note, so the chief took the time to write him a letter back. That I love to hear. I, yeah. Giddy up. Absolutely. That's cool. That note will go to my son at some point in time. Absolutely. I would like to let the Rooneys know that today. We should reach out to them and let them know that 
they probably know all the cool things they've done, but it would be cool to let them know. Yeah, I mean, the world is different today. Sure. Right? The world is different it's today. It's all emails and nobody really cares anymore. I mean, yeah. they get and, millions and, of letters. And it's, you know, sign factory stuff. Yeah. But there's a reason why that Coke commercial with, with me and Joe Green throwing his jersey to the kid, there's a reason why that mattered at the time. That's what they did. Because that's what they did. Yeah. Giving right? away jerseys. And at this point, autographs. you know, it's commercialized and here's I get a new pair of shoes each time so I can do like that that wasn't the deal back back in the day. Right. So that's, they only got a couple of jerseys a year, didn't so, they? Yeah. So that's the that's the coolest thing that, that I actually own. I love that Crosby jersey. I just like I like that it hangs in my office and then and then, you know, we've got people here that pretend to like the Capitals and then I can just talk to them about five versus one, which is always really enjoyable as far as I'm concerned. Ow. But that letter is awesome. Cool. I, I did for a time work for a um, uh, NBA and NHL team, mm-hmm. and I have a lot of signed shoes from players. Uh-huh, yeah. And if you've never seen some of the shoes basketball players will hold, They're some of them are like this long, no joke. Some of those dudes have... They're big. <laughs> it's, it's amazing to watch. And they go big. through so many of them. They're like, hey, you want a signed shoe? And you're like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take one. I actually, a couple years ago, this actually reminds me, a couple years ago, we... Um, we got selected to go to the fan appreciation thing, the oh, cool. season ticket holder fan appreciation. Yeah. So we show up at the Pepsi Center. Uh-huh. So it's for the Avs and the Nuggets. Nice. Um, nice. And the the Rapids were there. All the Cronky the sports people. Ones, right. Yep. Good organization. Okay. Love so the so we're there, right? And I I really really like the Avs. Right? Yeah. I ever do since too. ever since they moved to Colorado, and you know that was the closest hockey team. I never really liked the Blues, St. Louis. Right, so I know a lot of um, people that so do. I always like the abs, and so uh, we got to go. My wife and I got to go, and I've told you before, my wife is a twin, right? Yes. So I've got pictures of my wife and her sister. Cool. With like Matt Duchesne and Ga- Gabriel Landeskog, nice. uh, Alex Tangay, uh-huh. Jerome Aginla, um, Cody McLeod. Now I tried to get my wife because he totally would have done it. Uh-huh. Uh, Eric Johnson, right? My Joe Sackick, Patrick Waugh. Yeah. Okay. So we we're walking around this thing and these guys, they're really nice, right? They have to do this stuff all the time. Gabe Landeskog was out front. He was, he was greeting everybody at the stairs when you Groovy. came in, right? Cause he's the captain. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. We're kind of going through, I, I mean, Jerome Aginla, the picture of my wife and her sister with Jerome Aginla, he's holding a Coors Light. It's, it's hilarious. I love it. So, okay. So we get to Cody McLeod. Yeah. And he's just kind of like hanging out. And if you've ever been to the Pepsi Center and you've been in the the suite area, once or twice, where the where the bar the nice bar is, mm-hmm. you know what I'm talking about. So he was towards the back where the couches are. Okay, so we go back there, and he's standing there. And and you know, I I said to my wife, so I was telling her what to say when she would go up to people, uh-huh. right? So like Matt that year, Matt Duchesne got selected for the All Star game. So she walked up and she was like, "Congratulations on your selection," right? So I would kind of give her something to say, right? right? So I said, I said, would you please go up to Cody McLeod and ask him, can you take a picture like they do in the boxing posters like this? Because he would totally have done it. It would have been the best. But she was too embarrassed to do it. He should have. He was a nice guy. He was was such a nice guy. He was such he's such a nice guy. He's got a good sense of humor. And so so while I'm standing there, he's he's got his arms around both of them. Right. And I was like, I and I looked at it. I was like, would you please? And she was like, no. He would have done it. So I do have a bunch of pictures of yeah. her and her sister with 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 the app, with a bunch of the apps players, that's and that's cool. kind of cool because because she was enjoying you know the time and yeah yeah and she really I mean she knew Joe Sackick mm. and she knew Patrick Waugh right right and so those pictures Great players she she really likes those pictures because it means something to her she didn't really know the other guys but she would watch because I would watch sure right and so the the. I think Matt Duchesne was just sort of tired. He was like, oh, I've seen so many people. It does wear on you. And I, I, and I understood I that, that he was a little bit tired. But, but it was kind of funny because he was, he was standing by the bar, right? And he, he had a drink, but he turned around. And he was like, you know, of course, I'll, I'll take a picture with you. But when my wife said to him, like, oh, you know, congratulations on, on making the All-Star, All-Star game. And, he, and she was like, and my husband, you know, he, he bought me a jersey and it's your jersey. Then you could see him. He was like, oh, oh yeah. That's so cool. that's kind of cool. Yeah. It's not a it's not a handwritten letter from the chief. Chief. But it's kind of cool. That's kind of 
That is cool. I like that one. Yeah. Good stuff, guys. If you have any memorabilia stuff that you'd like to share with us, put it in the comments below because we look at that stuff and we read all of the stuff that you guys give us. Also, don't forget to like this channel because what we put out is fun and usually pretty good because that's what we're here to do. Also, check out ourcommunitynow.com for all kinds of other content and stuff that makes your day better because the stuff we cover is local and we talk about what goes on in your lives. Also, please subscribe to the channel because we need all the viewers we can get because when we put out new content, we want to be able to share it with you as soon as possible. But this has been another episode of My Wife Hates This. I'm Josh and this is a fan of the chief saying thanks for listening, guys, and we will see you next time.